Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah and today we are doing our legacy challenge. I feel very thankful that I get to film today. It's been a little bit crazy. Um, we're coming up on the end of the semester, so a lot of projects are due and uh, a lot of tests. And yeah, even though my classes were moved online, it's still equally as stressful and the workload is equally as bad. So. <laughs> But once, um, once the semester is over, I'll be able to film because I'll be on summer break, which is great. Again, I hope you guys are doing really well. I'm doing great. Um, I've got my watermelon Celsius and I'm ready to film. So let's get into it. <sighs> so good. <laughs> okay, so here we are back on the Legacy lot. It is extremely, extremely snowy and beautiful outside. Uh, I did make some changes to uh, the house. I redid, hang on, let me get there. Let me get there, one sec. <laughs> okay, I redid Bren's, oops, I left the pipe organ outside. My bad. <laughs> I redid Bren's uh, house. I made it a little bit more elegant in here. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember before, but it was like an orange theme. Uh, so I changed it, I made it like a lavender-y, turquoise now. I love this bat wallpaper. It's so, it's like pastel-y but also vampire-y so I like it a lot. This kitchen though, oh my god it's so nice. And you know what I realized while I was building this kitchen? The counters with the big gold lots, or these ones right here, this is an island counter. It's not even a regular counter but I've been using it as a regular counter. <laughs> Whatever, it still works and it still looks good, so uh, I'm gonna keep using it. <clears throat> I pretty much kept Alice's room the same. I just added a few like little artifact things here and there, like this big skull one. I added this tapestry. Uh, I added more stuff on the walls. Um, and this um, collage frame. So yeah, there's that. I didn't change Ren's upstairs at all because it's just her coffin up there. Uh, what else did I do? What else, what else, what else? Oh, I made Stella a little magical place here for her. Um, it's, I pretty much used every single item from the Realm of Magic pack. And why, don't, why do my structures never have a roof? I don't understand. <laughs> I must be doing something wrong. Uh, but yeah, here's just a spot where she can do all of her uh, magical stuff. She could just come in here and vibe and experiment. So there's that. See, there is a roof. Anyway, let's get into some gameplay, shall we? So, if I remember correctly, the ending of the last episode, Charlie died. And we resurrected him. He died from being hysterical. So we do need to keep an eye on them. For some reason, my Sims, they're just like always hysterical. Um, I think it's from the slice, the slice of Life. But gotta keep an eye. Stella here is like extra, extra pregnant right now. I don't know what trimester she's in. Let's have a look, shall we? <gasps> question mark, question mark, question mark. That means she's gonna pop any freaking second now. Um, you probably shouldn't nap there. That's just, just a, a suggestion though. <laughs> if you're tired, you sleep with your, uh, your man. <gasps> Ouch. Hi, Zoe. Uh, this is the next heir. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I forgot how cute she is. Oh my god, those freckles though. Oh, uh, what else do we got? Go! Oh my God, Batman needs a bath so freaking bad. Okay, you need to get up. I'm thinking there might be too many objects on my lot because my game. <laughs> it is so freaking slow. It needs oil or something. <laughs> Compliment Alice's body. Huh? That's new. Ew, can you stop? Stop, 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 stop. Needs amusement. Okay, Charlie, that's you. Read her a book, shall you? Shall you? What the? <laughs> Isn't that part of your aspiration? Socialize with your child six times. Okay, yeah, we can get that done, actually. Alice, oh, Alice went to school. 
I'm gonna get her to uh, make more friends because I would like her to have more. Um, and then I'm gonna try and work on everyone's aspirations and stuff in this episode. I don't, let's check the calendar and see what we got coming up. Ooh, Charlie's birthday's in two days and it's on New Year's Eve. Hmm, interesting. That sounds kind of fun. Maybe we could get a babysitter and we can take all the adults out for once instead of having a party here. Oh my God, my game is like this. Oh God, so bad. I took some stuff out. I don't know why it's still uh, acting this way. It has to be the number of things on this lot, the number of CC that I have. Okay, so Charlie's next aspiration thingy is be friends with three of your children. So we need three children um, and have a child get married. We could definitely do that as well. Olive, what about you? Okay, yeah, we already uh, established that we can't do yours because you don't have any more kids. Okay, and then Ren, you're working on your 14 days in a row without permission, or without a drink, without permission. So we're working on that. Everyone has so many aspiration points. It's awesome. And then Alice's aspiration is to collect 10 collectibles. Oh my God, that thirst. Ooh. Um, wow, uh, I don't think we can get her to drink plasma packs while she's at school, so what's your grade? C student? It's not good. Okay, we're gonna get Olive to go to work for sure. Uh, what does she need to do? Just get her uh, skill to level 8, her charisma skill. It's already at level 8. Okay, well... That should be good enough then. And she's also gathered impressions, so I'm hoping she can get promoted one more time. One more. And that will be the first career in this entire Let's Play that we have maxed. And that's huge. That is huge. I don't know why we don't focus on that more. I don't know. I don't know. I find careers in The Sims kind of boring. Ew, this child needs a freaking bath, dog. Bathe her. Please. Stella's at work, so I'm gonna get her to work hard, of course. Charlie, ooh, what's this from? Kvipple from Lot Traits, sure. So I think uh, next episode, or between now and the next episode, I'm going to go through the rules and like look at all my notes and look at all the videos and determine how many points that we have accumulated so far in this Let's Play. Mm, the only thing that I'm a little bit concerned about is the the uh, events portion of the points because the mod that I have that takes the cap off the amount of sims you can invite over and it also takes off the duration of the party, it makes it longer. So for some reason, like, if you have that mod, the game doesn't recognize the trophies. So every event, even if it was like a stellar event, gets a bronze when it should have been a gold. So I don't really know what I should do about that. If I should just take the mod out and uh, just work on it from here or what, I don't know. You guys are just gonna have to let me know because I know that pretty much all of our events are gold events. Um, because they're crazy. <laughs> Yay! I love this freaking outfit for Zoe. She's so, so, so cute. I can't wait till she ages up. I would really want to see what kind of sim she's gonna be. Like, that is like my favorite part of this game is finding out their traits, their personalities, and like what they're gonna be into. And I like how um, for Alice, it came kind of, did you eat yet? I just finished eating and I am stuffed. <laughs> That's cool, Billy. Um, so yeah, I like how Alice's personality kind of came organically, like while we were on our vacation, she was like really into like looking around and exploring things. So that's how we uh, decided her personality. Hi, Patchy. Hope you're doing well. I know it's freezing. I know. I know. Oh, so we should probably work on her skills too. Wow, look at that. They're so high. Uh, research art, please. You need to get that promotion, Olive, please. And why don't you um, potty, uh, ouch, potty help now. 
What a little butthole. She got the fussy trait, right? Yeah. Weak bloodline. Oh, right, because she's a spellcaster baby. I always forget about that. I think that's cool. I'm excited. Please. Ooh, 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 ooh. Alice has met Graceland while at school. Yay, another friend. I'm so very excited. I hope she invites her over so we can give her a makeover. But the war ain't over, a little toy soldier. I've been listening to the Menzingers so much lately. So freaking much. Let me know in the comments what you guys have been listening to during this quarantine. Because, yeah, music just makes me feel better. It lifts some spirits, just like filming does. All right, you make sure that you potty train Zoe. Make sure you max that skill, please. Oh, shoot. I thought she invited over that girl, but it's just Jaquan. Jaquan, is it Jaquan? I think it, it might be Jaquan, not Jaquan. I'm not 100% sure. Yay! Who stinks? Oh God. Oh God, gross. Okay, darling, 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 darling. You need hella plasma packs and a shower. So here, let me hook you up. I wonder if Alice would be like her mom and want to refrain from uh, drinking plasma from other Sims. <gasps> um, well, that was rude. Did you see the little pitchfork? Ah, uh, before he did that, I think he might be evil. I don't remember, but that that would suck. <laughs> Wait, who's our alcoholic friend again? I don't think it was Jaquan. I think it was. Uh, who was it? 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 I think it was Dylan actually. Dylan. Yep, Dylan. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and invite over Grace Gracelyn Gracelyn so that we can give her. A proper uh, legacy challenge makeover and are you still potty training her can you please keep doing it yay she'll be right over okie dokie then where are you where oh my gosh I've never seen a sim run that fast before all right let's have a look at you and create a sim I can't remember if Kyla is an adult or a teen but if she's an adult, then we can invite her out for our New Year's Eve birthday celebrations. Uh, but yeah, we can invite her to our New Year's celebrations as well as Zach and Orion. So she's sporty and a spice hound and her aspiration is angling ace. Okay, cool. A sporty girl. We haven't had that yet. Let's just take uh, that off. Okay, but this is their dad. I love his hair. It's so good. He's actually really handsome. <gasps> Ow. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but filming makes me hiccup like crazy. I think it might just be from all the talking. <sighs> I don't know, because it never happens any other time. It's very strange. She has such a nice mouth. And I think I'm going to keep the eyes because I really like them. I kind of do want to keep this hair, but I don't want it to be Max's match. So I'm going to try and find the alpha equivalent of it. Um, I'm pretty sure I have one and I'm pretty sure it's by Nightcrawler. Let's see. So there's this one and this one, I think probably this one. I use this one so much though, but this one is sick because it has the shaved undershave or well, I don't even know what they're called, but it's like shaved in the back right there. I remember that was like a huge thing to do. Oh my God, do you guys hear that? Washing machines banging so loud. <laughs> yeah, this works. This works nicely, I like it. So she's a sporty girl who likes spicy food. <laughs> That's a vibe. Okay, so I wanna go ahead and add her to the group. I hope that there's a spot. There is! Hooray, 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 hooray. All right, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, so Alice, her archeology span skill is already at level four. That is actually super good. Um, if No, don't take a bath here. Why don't you come and take a proper bath in your home? <laughs> 
Um, so I don't know. Oh, right, archaeology books. That's what we were doing with her. Right, 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 right. Oh yeah, and this. I found this in uh, Olive's inventory. It's so cute. It's like a, a green and pink like bunny relic thing and I'm obsessed with it. Obsessed. So I was thinking and I know that you probably you guys are probably going to be against it. Please tell me you're taking a mud bath. Why is it brown? Gross. Anyway, so I was thinking uh, that we should probably send Alice to university. I hope that you guys aren't like 100% against it. I just kind of feel like we need to make room in the house. I love Alice, don't get me wrong. I do. Um, but the only thing with that is if we move her out, we can't move her back in. It's tough. It's tough. We either move her out or we keep her and Ren both in the house forever. Wait, what? Who died? Who died though? We already knew her mom and dad died a while ago. Hmm. That's weird. I'm gonna get Stella to scrub through the potty mess and this uh, thing on the floor. Hi guys. Love them. So cute. Why don't you come over here? Uh, one of Allah's co-workers needs help with a task. What should she do? Just, can you just help out? Alright, great. Why don't you guys play a uh, multiplayer game? Play Party Frenzy with Jaquan and Gracelyn. Oh my god, all of you didn't get promoted. What the heck is up with that? Oh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that is really quite annoying, but whatever. What is your parenting skill at, Charlie? Three. It's almost to four, so come and tuck her in a bunch. Because I know that that helps with your parenting skill. Cute fun times. Yay, level four. I think in this episode, we should probably take care of Olive and Fallon too. Olive doesn't really have that much time left. Her bar is almost full. So I'm kind of thinking we should invite him over or have them go on a date, something along those lines. I'm pretty sure I told Olive to go to the bathroom, not you, Stella. So yeah, I think we uh, we should probably get them on a date. We should make things official. We should check and see how long Fallon has been alive, if we should make him an elder or not. Bye, Gracelyn. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. Get it? Gracing Gracelyn. <sighs> okay, are you viewing the board? What are you doing? Are you viewing it? Uh -huh. Please get inspired. Please get that little moodlet that you need to add an impression. Ooh, 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 ooh! Stella is in labor. Stella is in labor. Wait. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where you at? Oh, you poor dear. Cookie, though. Mm, that sounds so good. Does it not? <laughs> Alright, let's have the baby at the hospital. We're gonna join her, and we're gonna bring... Should we just bring some random person? <laughs> I'm kidding. We'll bring Charlie, even though he's probably gonna dip once we get there. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to see if it's a boy or a girl, and I haven't even thought of names. Actually... I know. Oh my god, Joshua Key! He he aged up. <laughs> um, I know what I want to name it, her. Name it if it's a girl. Um, I was gonna do what was the other option? Quinn. I was gonna do Quinn, but one of you guys mentioned that it's too close to Ren, and I 100% agree. So we probably shouldn't do Quinn. Um, are you about to walk through the wall? Okay, I was like, my game is so messed up. <laughs> uh, I think Mavis for a girl. I love that name so much. I think it's so cute. Um, I heard it in Transylvania, if you guys haven't seen that. Hotel Transylvania, I'm sorry. Uh, the daughter's name is Mavis. I think it's so pretty. So yeah, that's only if it's a girl. If it's a boy though, I don't know. I don't know. I like to name kids after like things that have happened in the Let's Play, like Alice because of Carlos's death, and then Charlie because of 
That's Carlos's nickname in real life. So I'm trying to think of another uh, name that goes along with the events of this Let's Play. I am nervous. Baby numero dos. Hmm. Boys' names, boys' names, boys' names. Watermelon. No. Sony. <laughs> Celsius. <laughs> Is that glue? What the heck? <laughs> They're gonna glue her back together when she's done. Carlos and I were just talking about boys' names. But I forgot all the ones that I said. What is going on? Did I pause it? Oh! Oh crap, it is a boy. Shoot! <laughs> oh my god, a girl and a boy. That's pretty great. Okay, well Charlie's dad is orange. Apple pear. <laughs> well, since his dad was named after fruit, maybe we can name this boy after a fruit as well, or after a uh, food. So let's Google food boy's name. Bacon? Who the heck is gonna name their child Bacon? I would never. Well, I've been looking at food names for a while now, and there's none that I like, for a boy at least. Um, well, I saw some other names that I thought were interesting. Felix, I think that's kind of cool. It's different. You don't really see that name that often. And then I've always been a fan of the name Bruce, just because of uh, Batman. Bruce Wayne, I think, is one of the coolest names ever. Um, <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. I think we'll go with Felix. Since they're having 10 kids, I'm going to need to think of 10 names that I like that are different and unique. So... Y'all are gonna have to help me out. Alright, Felix, there you go. Stella and Charlie had a baby boy named Felix. I'm so very excited, and I'm a little bit relieved it's not twins or triplets, because... <laughs> that would have been very overwhelming. Time to go home. What are you doing? Really, dude? Well, I mean, I guess this is kind of accurate right like if you're not in the delivery room you're probably in the waiting room having a nap um all right we'll come over here and wake him up and let him know what's good oh okay we're just gonna go home sweet oh my gosh it's so bad outside Yons needs to get your booties in here come all right, let's move this child. Oh no, I think this child is normal. No, I wanted spellcaster babies. Well, I guess it doesn't matter since the heir is a spellcaster. All right, feed, breastfeed the child, cuddle the child, and that should be good enough for now. Uh, what's up with the lights? Ew, ew, Batman pooped inside. What's up with that? You doing okay? Do you need some love? It looks like you do. Let's just give him some attention. Make sure he's okay. Zoe, what's wrong with you? New sibling. Oh my god, that is so annoying. Like, just get over it. How about that? <laughs> I don't think there's ever been a sim that was happy when they got a sibling. Alice, darling, can you please do your homework? And then Ren, what are you doing? Where are you going? You know what? I think we're gonna change your hair back to red. I just haven't been vibing with you as much since we changed your hair, so I think we're gonna change it back. Riddable. We're gonna change the color, but um, change the color and the style, I think. Man, she's pretty. She's seriously one of the prettiest sims ever. Let's do a little experiment. I'm gonna give her a CC makeover with all my new CC as if she was like a newer sim. <laughs> just, just pause, 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 pause. Give me one second. Okay, she actually looks amazing with this hair. Oh my God, I love it. And it comes in the correct color, which is great. Uh, should we change your brows? So right now you have number 11s. Mm -hmm. Hey, those ones look good. They're pretty much the same, just a bit thicker. Yeah, none of those are speaking to me. 
I actually quite enjoyed these ones. Okay, and then let's give her the new eyes. I'm not gonna keep them, I just kinda wanna see. Hmm. Yeah, see, I don't like that. The noodle eyes just, they just look good on her. We'll see how she looks with this skin detail. No, no, she definitely benefits from the V. All right, back to normal Ren, just a little bit longer hair. I'm excited to go out for Charlie's birthday. Okay, it is Friday. What the heck are you doing? What are you doing? Throwing a fit out here, okay. Um, ooh, you're chatting with Silas? Is he coming to you or what's going on there? He's in the bath. Batman is hungry. Mmm, Batman, you have plenty of food here. Okay, Olive, looks like it's time for bed for you, so come on over and have yourself a sleep. And then tomorrow we can probably, hmm, shoot. Okay, I think we'll just invite Fallon to the birthday festivities, and then we'll check and see how long he's been alive, see if he needs to be an elder or not. And we'll lock that down, make it official with them. Um, Stella, why are you walking away from your crying child? Go, take care of your child, please. We should take a class together sometime? Well, isn't that sweet? Ren, you're feeling in the zone. What were we working on for you? Weren't we doing like programming or something along those lines? <gasps> we were, we were, we were, we were. Okay, Patchy, GTF, oh, the computer. <laughs> Start a side job, why not? Can you not chat with Ren? You guys are like um, aunt and whatever and, and uh, nephew still, but I, I, I'm still a little bit concerned, I'm not gonna lie. Begin stream! And then how are your skills coming along, my dude? Charisma's getting there, cooking's getting there, uh, vampire lore and video gaming, okay. Um, what does this child need? Bed, okay, Charlie. Uh, read Zoe to sleep, would ya? Is she potty trained yet? Almost! Oh no! Our drone just died. Is that why you're depressed? Please tell me that's why you're depressed. Crash gadget friend, sad bomb, and... What? Oh, did I miss something? What did I miss? Where's Patchy? You guys, no! What the heck just happened that I didn't see? Where's Patchy at? He's not on his little post thing. Not over here. Alice is over here. I don't see you have romance with anyone. And the door is locked, so Patchy shouldn't be able to get in here. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to like look out for it while I'm editing because I have no freaking idea what just happened. It doesn't look like she had any woohoo. Like she's not like satisfied or there's no like romantic thingies here. There's no romance with anyone else besides Charlie. What's she confident from? Glamorous presence from compliment. Feeling attractive after getting a really nice compliment about my body. Wow, okay, that's cool. Oh cool, Ren has gone six days uh, from resi resisting drinking, so that's good. Uh, keep viewing that board until you can add an impression, please, because we need to do that before you go into work. Ooh, and Charlie just reached 30,000. 30,000 followers, <laughs> how exciting. Oh yeah, and Ren uh, finished the job. Good for you, girl. Good for you. Oh! oh. God, you guys. <laughs> Why? Why does this always happen? There's too many freaking simps to freaking keep track of. All these vampires and, oh my god, okay. Well, hopefully this death flower works cause I, honestly, like I'm not even phased by this anymore. 
But if the death flower doesn't work, I'm truly gonna be sad. Where's Grim? Hurry up, Grim. I need to know if we can um, fix the situation. Here he is, okay. What? What, 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 what? Why, why can't we? Come here, Grim. Please don't glitch. Please. If it's glitching, then there's no way we can save her. It's literally doing the same thing it did when Briley died. Oh my god, no. Oh, 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 here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Okay, can we give him the flower or not? I'm scared, I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. <gasps> okay, give death flower. Give it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ren. Give him the flower. Oh god. You know, <laughs> this game is gonna give me a freaking heart attack, I swear. Charlie clearly doesn't care. He's like, oh, I've been through that before, it's all good. I wonder though, is it possible that the death flower could not work? Um, or if it's like a foolproof way of bringing the sims back to life. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But it's mighty scary. Okay. Charlie. No more gaming. The baby is uh, in dire need of assistance. That was a close one. Too close for comfort, if I'm being honest. Did we... Uh, the fly, the freaking plants have already been harvested. <sighs> Too freaking close for comfort, I swear. You're excited? You're excited from having a brush with death, okay. Uh, go to school. I know that you had a rough day, but I'm gonna need you to go to school. Oh, look! Ren's getting romantic with Grim without even me telling her. Arogaba! Arogaba! What is your relationship like? Oh, the romance bar is barely there. But you're gonna shoot your shot anyways, huh? Compromise Grim Reaper's lean body. Absolutely, freaking lutely are you kidding me? <laughs> Ask if single. Just, just get it done, you know? It's, it's a shame they can't woohoo without a mod. They're cute. I like them. Same, Ren. I'm quite thirsty myself. This girl is gonna be the death of me. She keeps going outside. Like, can you not? Can you please just stay indoors? Um, I had Ren half the Lothario trust fund. 96 bucks? Really? That's all you got being a level 8 programmer? That's all you got? Ugh. So tonight... Wait, is today his birthday? No, it's tomorrow. There's no harm in um, aging him up when we're- Actually, because this is New Year's Eve, we should wait until tomorrow to go out. And we should dress everybody up all nice. I think that would be fun. Nice New Year's Eve outfits. She's just doing her homework, chatting with the Grim Reaper, really. It's just a normal day. Normal day in The Sims, am I right? So much to be sad about these days. Dead. <gasps> Ouch. She's just getting that potty skill up. Good for you, girl. You do you, you do your thing. I have no idea what I'm saying anymore. Like, none whatsoever. Ooh, Ryan's, Ren's spline reticulation plugin is second to none. She has earned $88 from sale proceeds. $88? We need more money from this. I thought programming was like an easy way. You guys, look at this. She is feeling depressed from, uh, stop. From average body type. This is new in Slice of Life. Alice believes that she needs to lose weight or muscle. The only way Alice will learn to accept herself is by learning to love her body. You can use the mirror, try on outfits, or just feel confident to increase the chances of getting past this insecurity. And look, she's bullied. Oh my god. Maybe the kids at school are bullying her about her body type. Because she's definitely not like the skinniest sim ever. But I love her. I think she's perfect, so... I don't know. Boost confidence. Okay, you can do that in the mirror. That's cool. Let's give that a shot. 
And look, what's going on over here? Are they flirting with each other? You guys good again? Cause I don't know what the heck happened with Stella, but it makes me really sad that she cheated on you. Or she did something. Oh God. Alice, or Olive's uh, long life is coming to an end. This would be a good time to get her affairs in order. Oh my god, I'm not ready. I'm not freaking ready for this. <laughs> oh, Ren is mourning Briley. That is so sad. And look who's here. Mr. Orange. Are you an elder yet? Let's have a look. No, he's still an adult. 25 out of 24? Does that mean today's his birthday? Yeah, I think he should be aging up today. I just saw Hearts by Ren and Orange. Oh my god! They are seriously pissing me off with this. Every single time he's here. It's like he comes to flirt with Ren. That's it. He doesn't do anything else and it drives me absolutely bat- crazy leave her alone stop you should be here to see your son and your granddaughter and that's it getting uh zoe some chicken nuggets right now because she's freaking starving baby zoe come and grab these chicken nuggies come here hey look there's briley what you up to what you doing oh you're just gonna destroy the uh half Done snowman. Someone's angry. Wow, she is not happy right now. Not at all, even though she's green. <laughs> okay, so we should take care of her aspiration points right now. I know that we need 10 potions of youths, and I'm not 100% sure how many we have. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could have sworn we had more. Oh well. Let's buy it. Ouch. Four more. Okay. One. Two. Okay. We were only able to get two. She has 590 left. So I'm thinking we should just buy a moodlet solver and give it to someone else and call it a day. Okay. So we only need two more. So that's great. Let's give this moodlet solver to... Uh, Let's give it to Charlie. And what else we got? Some toys that we can sell because we have plenty of toys. We've got her tablet for work. Wait, did she get promoted? Oh my god, she did. She maxed it. She freaking did it. Unless, wait, is there more? Because it's telling her to... Hmm. Okay, so she needs to um, up her painting skill and she needs to up her charisma. So let's sell this one to Collector and get her to paint a little bit more. Okay, so tonight we are going to go out to the bar. You know what? I hope it's not storming tonight. That would not be good, especially with uh, the New Year's Eve outfits. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how girls do it. I don't know how they wear these like tiny outfits when it's freezing outside. I guess you just ignore it. <laughs> But I, I am definitely not one of those girls. I cannot do it. I can't. Uh, what else is in your inventory, love? More toys that we can sell. Uh, let's give the upgrade parts to Charlie. A cardboard dance floor we could sell. Uh, photos. Give them to Charlie. The next heir gets everything. Okay, so we took care of her inventory. We took care of her... Uh, what do you call it? What the heck do you call it? Her uh, aspiration points. Oh, I'm thinking we should invite over Fallon. Yay, Alice is responsible. Who knows how long my camera has been off, but I just noticed that it stopped. Uh, where are you? Okay, here we go. Invite to hang out. Batman, I know you want to walk and I'm really sorry, but it's like storming outside. So why don't we just have a little bit of playtime? And Ren has gone seven days. Hooray. Oh, here's Fallon. Okay. Uh, let's have a look and see. Yo! You're joking. You're freaking joking me. This girl, I swear. She's the worst. 
All right, Fallon, let's have a look. Let us have a look. He is three. He must be an elder then, is he? Oh, he is. Okay, he just needs himself a uh, elderly makeover. <laughs> Oh, go Charlie, go Charlie, go, go, go Charlie. What's going on here? Chat with Fallon, I guess that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna give uh, Fallon a quick makeover. I'm gonna give him his short hair back and make it gray. Should we just marry him with Olive real quick? I kind of feel like, um, I don't know. You know how some people, like when they're older, they just like get married so that they can just be married while they're still alive i don't know maybe we should i'm pretty sure he had this hair when we first met him oh no definitely not it definitely was not that one which one was it i think it was this yeah if i remember correctly let's do this hair i feel like this is a good elder hair okay so let's go in to back into create sim and give everyone in the family some nice new year's eve outfits so they can go out celebrate charlie's birthday and maybe i haven't decided yet maybe we will elope olive and fallon just so that they can just be together for whatever time they have left all right guys this is what i chose for ren it's super high fashion <laughs> super pretty though uh, i put i gave her the little eye dots for that a little just because i wanted something a little special i know that on new year's eve if i'm going out i really like to wear something cool something special especially with my makeup okay and then for stella i'm thinking something kind of witchy she's kind of put on some baby weight it looks good on her i like it a lot so let's go ahead and add another outfit for your party wear. Want to find something cute and witchy, I suppose. Let's take this hat off. Oh, you know what? I have this hair where you can put like little glitter particles on it. It's like a space buns one. Let me see if I could find it because that would be cute for New Year's. Okay, it was this hair and then Where's the little glittery pieces? Where are they? Here we go. Aww, little stars. I thought it was glitter, but you know what? This is cute too. Should we do gold? It looks kind of funny from far away, but that's okay. You get the idea. Okay, there we go. That's cute. I like it and I'm satisfied. All right, Alice, uh, for you, my darling dear. Um, let's see what we got. I kind of feel like she would be the most practical out of them all. So maybe just like a sweater because it is going to be cold with a sweater with leggings. Aw, are these glittery leggings? How cute. Aw. I love this. All right. Here's Alice's outfit. It looks really comfortable and really cute. Big fan. Huge fan. <laughs> All right, Charlie. Um, oh my god, there's so many freaking Sims in this family. It's your birthday, so you should wear something nice for once in your life. You are a lazy Sim, so I doubt you give a crap, but I give a crap. And I bet Stella would be like, yo, put on something nice. Put on a nice shirt. Do something. <laughs> All right, there you go. It's something. It's definitely something. I wish we had like a happy birthday sash that you could wear. <laughs> okay, Olive's turn. Olive, Olive, Olive. This is nice. I can't believe I didn't put anyone in this. Let's see what it looks like with a cardigan. No. Uh, that would have been so cute. Sure, I think that looks good. And then we can do something a little bit different with your hair too. Um, perhaps give you your old hairstyle, but in the proper color. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Hopefully you can last all night, granny. <laughs> okay, I think that's everybody. The children are gonna stay. So we got the outfits on lock. That took me quite some time, but hey, it's worth it. So while we're waiting for the night to come, what should we do? 
Oh, Olive, come and talk to Fallon a little bit. Spend some time with him. Offer him a massage. Hello, my darling. Thank you for coming to visit. He's like, oh, yes, yes, my back was hurting so much, but I came anyway. She said, let me give you a massage then. Um, oh, God. Oh, God. He's denying our flirtation. Diffie, she said. Palatial Weeby. Can you guys dance together, I wonder? Dance. Dance, Olive, and then invite him to dance. Yay! Uh, cute little dance session. I'm looking and see Zara in the mirror. <laughs> Olive, I know you've been avoiding me. We don't even know you, son. Get out of here with that. Uh, Charlie, I need to, you need to make sure that you have enough energy for tonight. You need to make sure that you're in a good mood. You too, Stella. Come and sleep. Ren, you're a little bit thirsty, so uh, have some of your plasma packies, and then I'm gonna get you to do some dark meditation as well. Okay. No. What about you? Why are you dazed? Were you drinking? Oh my god. You, uh, you're not supposed to be drinking yet. You're not supposed to be drinking at all. You're a teenager. <laughs> I feel like this family would be pretty, like, lax about that kind of stuff. They wouldn't be very strict. We are like far from traditional. Oh no, Stella's sick. Who did I give the medicine to again? Ah, here we go. Stella, you can't be sick. Take medicine, go to sleep, try to get better before tonight. Aww, hold hands with Fallon. Enjoying a nice cocktail. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Why don't you guys come over here and spend some time uh, together in your house alone? You guys rarely spend alone time together. I don't even uh, think your boyfriend, girlfriend. He's like, uh, there's rotten chicken nuggets right there. Let me uh, take care of that for you. <laughs> Cute. Oh god, she's got to pee. No. Cheers. Happy New Year's to us. Share conspiracy theories with him. Brongi? DZ Bobnet. Oh, whoopee, and I think you should probably be boyfriend and girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know why you guys aren't yet. I know you're taking it slow, but it's literally been years. Come Kimba. on, ask him before you pee yourself. Yips. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. They're officially together. I would have them woohoo, but I'm a little bit scared that they'll die. <laughs> so I'm gonna hold off on that. Ooh, got some nice horn blowing. I kind of hate that everyone's already drinking and they're getting all sloppy. Do makeup homework? Oh lord, that's not good. She's really behind on her schoolwork then. Whatever, not every sim in this family is gonna be perfect. Maybe she's just not smart. Aww. Zach died. Aww. That is so sad. Now Kyla and Dorian are all alone. Hmm. I think they'll be okay. At least they have each other. Ren is being mean to- Why are you being mean to people? What is this? Body shaming? How was- Wait, what? What was that? How was that considered body shaming when I was just telling the truth? Oh my god, Ren. Are you telling people that they're fat? I know that you're like a fitness queen, but you don't need to go around calling people out on their weight gain. That is not cool. Orange texted Olive and was like, I heard you and Fallon started dating. Congrats on landing a new boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hold the phone. Oh, because Zach died. Aww. That is so very sad. I'm sorry, Olive. Hey, that's a nice painting. I'm gonna hang that up. That looks good. There you go, Alice. You finish your school project. Good girl. Okay, how much is it worth? 347. It's not bad, but it's also not great. Uh, let's hang it. Mm, where? Where should we hang it? Oh, it actually matches really well in here. Okay. And then we can frame it. Um, perfect. Okay. Oh my god, it's 8.30. I didn't realize how late it had. we had gone. Oh gosh. 
Okay, well, um, I'm gonna get Charlie to grab some leftovers really quick. Let's get Stella up. Uh, okay, so hurry up and eat something quickly, 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 quickly. It's so late. It's so freaking late. Hopefully this club has a TV because it is New Year's Eve. Oh man, we should have brought a cake with us. Dang it. Oh god. <laughs> it's so snowy! Alright, 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 alright. Let me just get everyone in their um, proper outfits. Okay, it looks like we're good. Uh, look at Kyla. She's so pretty. Look at her um, outfit. I think it's so perfect for New Year's. Ren is just slaying the game. It's like super hard. Uh, alright. Wow, this is a nice bar. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go ahead and add a TV. And uh, I think we should add maybe a fridge and a stove so that maybe we can whip up a cake really quick. <laughs> so that we can actually like age him up here. I think that would be kind of cool. So who do we want to be in charge of the cake? Let's get Ren to do it really quick. Cook. Let's do... Let's do a nice winter cake since it is winter. Alright, everyone come inside. Here we go. Let's hope no one dies. In you go, one by one. <laughs> hey, Silas came! I don't remember inviting Silas, but... No way! Come on, really? Right now? Right now. This is when you decide to do this. <laughs> My god. <laughs> I thought I had so much more time than that. Oh my god, no. 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 Oh, to die at a nightclub. Dang it, she's like, this is all just too much. I give up. Uh-oh, freaking Stella's freezing to death. Oh my god, and so is Charlie. Yo. This game, it is so hard. Why is it so hard? It shouldn't be this hard. Get inside. Charlie, go. Okay, stay there. Just, 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 just come over here and sit. Oh god. Well... She's obviously missed, or obviously gonna be missed. Rest in peace, Olive. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tane is here. Just not aged at all when they all grew up at the same time. Played with Olive for so long. All right, I'm gonna play the slideshow now.
of unfortunate that like no one is sad. Oh, well these three are, but these two are not. Well, happy new year everyone. You three are supposed to be elders. <laughs> Ah, everyone's lined up in a nice row. <sighs> this is such a nice club. Oh, everyone's shishubing. Shishubi! Happy New Year! Shishubi! Shishubi! Oh, sorry. There we go. <laughs> Shishubi, everyone! Happy New Year! Everyone's sad. No one kissed. No one hugged. Nothing. Okay. Ren finally finished the cake. Uh, let's make sure no one takes a piece. Oh my gosh, it's poor quality. Because <laughs> she's feeling dazed. Oh. Okay, well, I'm gonna get her to come and add the birthday candles. And hopefully Charlie will be able to... Sad bomb. Okay. Um, come make a wish. Everyone come over here and celebrate. Try to celebrate. Ooh, poor quality cake. His mother just died. This is rough. This is rough, guys. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Everything went wrong in this episode. Every single thing. Everything I tried to do. Now he's gonna be sad because he thinks- Are you peeing? You're not, you're not peeing yourself, are you? Okay, no, not yet. <sighs> well, that was pointless. Absolutely 100% pointless. Everyone's nice New Year's outfits were for nothing. Yeah, New Year's Eve was also awful. No. Oh my god. <laughs> I told Ren to take a picture of Stella and this is what I get. Oh my god. We have to take this picture just because it's funny and it suits. It's freaking very fitting. Aw, so cute. A lot of you guys asked me about these poses here, and this is from the Moschino Stuff Pack. <gasps> so if you want the poses, then get that, get that pack. Look at how cute this is. Aw, they're so cute! Little New Year's babies! I love them. I can't believe we weren't able to age up Charlie properly with the cake and everything. I can't believe Olive died right when we got there. I just can't believe it. This game though, it's just... Sometimes it just doesn't like me. But I guess that's life, right? Nothing in life, not everything in life is perfect. There are some things that just go wrong. And uh... Yeah, there's nothing you can really do about it. <laughs> So I like the uh, sense of realism in that aspect. All right, let's go ahead and put Olive in the, the graveyard. Um, let me see, who do we have in here? Briley, Silas, Carlos, Max, and Savannah. Seems right. Olive had a troubled childhood, but... She turned her life around and became one of the most well-known trendsetters in Sim City. She will aw rip. Wow, I didn't engrave any of these epitaphs. <laughs> Except for Silas. <laughs> he froze to death unexpectedly on Christmas. Oh, we gotta do Briley's. Um, she burned to death <laughs> unexpectedly on Stella and Charlie's 
wedding day. <laughs> oh man. I should do an epitaph for Max, but I, I'm gonna think about what I wanna do first. Look at that, we've got six gravestones. I'm saying that as if it's a good thing. <laughs> it's really not. Charlie, are you sad that people forgot your birthday? Wow, you're actually not sad. You just don't care. Oh, bored from the DJ performance. Okay, well, see, you don't, you don't give a crap about anything. You're just so relaxed. I think that's pretty cool. You probably didn't even want to go out for your birthday to begin with. Aw, she's so depressed from losing her grandma. Aw, that makes me so very sad. Oh my god, Alice is over here crying it out. <sighs> Girl, I feel you. Why don't you just go to bed? Ren is a sad drunk. We need to figure out what to do with Olive's uh, little area here and what to do with her podium. We did, yeah, we got a photo of her. So I'm thinking that's Zara's trophy, so we shouldn't put that. Maybe we can put her little style board over there. It kind of bugs me that this urn isn't like the rest of them. Can I change that? No? Okay, that's annoying. She did get an excellence bunny, so we can put that. Oh, right, she was a geek and she loved conspiracy theories, so is there anything in here that we can put? I think that's good. If we uh, figure out some more stuff to put, then I'll just add it later. Oh god. Oh my god, yay! Charlie is finally a rising star. He's finally a two-star celebrity. Gosh, it took you long enough, my dude. Oh, so stoked though. Finally. We get a round of applause for Charlie. So happy for you. <laughs> Ah, uh, a stay-at-home dad channel. Fun. <laughs> oh my god, are you really body shaming Ren right now? Be insulted by Ren? Bro, Ren, you need to get it together. Everyone's gonna hate you. I feel like she's at the, the that time in her life where she's just been alive for so long that she's just like, she doesn't even care anymore. She doesn't even have a filter. She, like, you know how old people get? Like, when they get to a certain age, they kind of, like, just stop caring. <laughs> I kind of feel like maybe Ren's at that stage. All right, and Ren has been uh, going strong for eight days. We just need a few more, and I think I think that is going to be the end. Yeah, then she'll complete her aspiration. That'll be the first aspiration that we complete. How very exciting. Girl, where did you- why do you have those eyes? We're gonna have to fix that. <laughs> Okay guys, I think we're gonna go ahead and leave this episode right here. Please let me know what you think of this uh, very depressing episode. Everything went wrong, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!